And the personalization principle, I'm kind of really queasy about this because this is getting into social psychology and I'm more of a cognitive psychologist, so I'm getting nervous. But um, this is the idea that people learn more deeply from a conversational style than a formal style. So using things like first and second person instead of third person, uh, that puts things in conversational style. It, when we first started doing this, I thought this will never work. But you can see in 14 out of 17 tests, we're getting a large effect size by doing something as simple as just changing the wording. Um, so for example, here's a uh, text from a lesson on how the human respiratory system works. Um, during inhaling, the diaphragm moves down, creating more space for the lungs. It, you can see that's third person. To personalize it, we just change the to your. So during inhaling, your diaphragm moves down, creating more space for your lungs, and so on. So a very, very simple change. We just substituted your for the in about 13 places in this lesson. That has a huge effect. This is the Mayer Fennell et al. lungs study. We're getting very large effects. Um, also, doing the same thing um, using uh, polite wording when you have an on-screen agent who's interacting with the learner, having that agent use uh, polite wording like saying, um, instead of saying, press the enter key, he could say, why don't we press the enter key? Um, that improves learning. It's more of a conversational friendly style.